Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about something a little bit different. I have decided that I'm gonna do Project 10 Pan, which used to be a huge thing online. It's basically where you have to use up 10 products before you're allowed to buy a new one, which I know for the average consumer is probably a very doable task. <laughs> but as somebody whose job is testing new makeup, trying new products, reviewing products, it's a constant influx of me purchasing new makeup. I get sent a lot of makeup. I'm just surrounded by makeup all the time and it is a never ending cycle. I decided I'm gonna use up 10 products before I purchase any new products. Now, if I get sent something in PR, I will probably use it for videos because I probably will wanna review them or if they're new and relevant, I'll, you guys might wanna know about them. So if it's something I'm really excited about, I will talk to you guys about it. When it comes to buying new makeup for personal use or for videos, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not buying any until I've used these up. So I just did this look on my face using all of the 10 products that, apart from one, because I've got two foundations and I can't use two foundations. Well, I can, but I didn't, I didn't need to. Anyway, I've created this look for you guys using the products. These are the products, they're all in this makeup bag. I am going to use all of them up as quickly as I possibly can. Now, these products vary. They are some of my absolute favorite products of all time. They are products that I used to love and got halfway through and then fell in love with something else and never finished. They're products that I bought for videos and cost me a lot of money that I ended up not liking particularly and have just been sitting in my drawer that I want to use up. It is a huge variety of things. So yeah, I'm really excited and I'm excited to re-fall in love with some of these products. I'm excited to get some of these products out of my collection. I think it's just gonna be really good for me, for my wallet, and also to show you guys that you don't need to constantly be buying new makeup and new products. Like really everyone should have a makeup bag like this that does their face, that they're happy with, bish bash bosh. Like my job is to inform you guys of the products to make educated decisions of what goes inside this makeup bag rather than going out and buying every single thing that I talk about. Like if I didn't do this for a living, I would not have all of these products. Absolutely not. I would probably have a few of these. <laughs> it's a new year's resolution. I guess you could say that I wanted to do this. I think it's gonna be really, really fun. I am still gonna use other products. There are some things which I know are going to run out. All of my everyday things that I always, always use. These are all definitely gonna run out either before or while these ones run out. I will do an empties video, talk to you guys about the products that I really, truly use and finish once I have finished all 10 of these. So don't expect a makeup haul anytime soon because uh, I'm not allowed. I need to get these products finished first. I'm really excited. I think it will be a challenge because I have so many other things I could use on a daily basis to have to kind of use these ones. I'm gonna get a bit bored, I reckon. I'm sure I'll get through it, woe is me. I am going to show you guys this really quick little look, show you each product, and uh, yeah, if you guys wanna do this with me, comment down below. I think it could be a really fun little challenge we could all do together. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you at the end. Shall we begin? Here are my 10 products that I wanna use up before I purchase any new ones. Let me tie up my hair, actually. Do, 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 do. I wanted this to actually be a bit of a challenge, so I didn't include any products which I'm like obviously gonna run out of. So I haven't included my NARS foundation or my Too Faced concealer or a mascara because mascara runs out so fast. And I obviously haven't included this because I literally wear it every single day. I wanted to choose products that I use infrequently that it would take me a long time to use up. So the first products are two primers that I'm gonna mix together. To be fair, this one is nearly completely empty. I've gotta give myself a chance here, okay? This is the NARS Radiance Primer, and this is the NARS Super Radiance Booster. I'm gonna keep you guys posted on, throughout my videos, like on my vlogs and things like that, when I have finished up a product. And once I have, I'm gonna do an empties video for you guys because I will have also finished other products in that time, but these are the ones that I'm really focusing on finishing. 
For my foundations, I've chosen two very expensive foundations. I've got here the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation, and I've got the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua. Both are really nice. Both I barely use though, because I have my favorite. They're both pretty light coverage. I'm also hoping this will encourage me to wear a little bit less coverage. I'm gonna use the Dior today, why not? They're such expensive foundations. I feel like I need to use them up. It's quite a good shade for me at the moment. Very lightweight, but it sits really nicely on the skin. And like I said, it's an expensive foundation. I should not just have this. It's just money sitting in my drawer. So I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna finish it. It blends like a dream as well. It's such an easy foundation. Perfect for every single day. Doesn't that look nice? All right, for the concealer, this is a concealer that I am not overly big on. It is the Charlotte Tilbury The Retoucher Concealer and Treat Stick. I really just don't care for this concealer. It doesn't do a lot for me, but again, it was expensive. I bought it for a testing Charlotte Tilbury video and I literally haven't used it since. So I wanna use it up. Even if I use it with other concealers, I just wanna use it. Cause it doesn't give me mad amounts of coverage, which I, do usually need under my eyes. It's all right, it just doesn't wow me. So I wanna use it. I'm just gonna quickly set under my eyes. Another product I wanna use up is this. This is the NARS Beach Powder because I've hit pan, it's on its way out. I love this powder. I will repurchase it, but I want to use it up and try other powders first because I'm very stuck in my ways with this powder. I just know that it's good. I know that it works. So I use it. Other powders exist, you know. The next one is another love. I want to use up this Baby Benefit Hula, which again is definitely a doable task, but I use it just to contour my nose. So I use such a small amount of it that I do think it will probably be one of the things that takes the longest amount of time. The next one is my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette. I have hit pan on both shades of this. I don't get as much use out of this these days. It used to be my favorite thing. I used to wear it every single day, but I just don't use it that much anymore. And again, it wasn't a cheap product. For me, it's great for like a no makeup makeup day because both of the shades, whoa, because both of the shades are pretty light the bronze is quite rosy so it's quite a natural shade so i think i can probably get some more use out of this i'll come back to that in a second because another product that i have to finish up is this honestly i can't even remember what this shade is because the stickers come off but this bronzer is so old i used to wear like if you're like an old school subscriber you'll remember this bronzer i used to wear it every video loads of new bronzers came into my life and i just stopped and it's just been sat in my drawer feeling sad feeling neglected and taking up space now so i want to finish it because i don't want to waste and also who knows i might rekindle a love for it let me throw on some blush i'm going to use this soulmate blush from ColourPop that i've probably used three times get in the mood of using products that i never use it's pretty though i just never use it cool cool this is literally how i do my makeup i just chuck it on and then i'm gonna use the charlotte tilbury highlighter which oh that mirror is so dirty it's not the kind of highlight i wear these days it's very subtle which is why i think it's great for such a like no makeup -y day i'm sure i'll get some use out of this and then finally i want to finish this my becca lip liner in the shade vacation there's a little bit ways to go but I wear this basically every day, so I don't think it's gonna take me too long. Chuck on a bit of mascara. This is the uh, Makeup Forever Smoky Lash, which also, oh, I need to cut my lashes. This will definitely be in my empties video. I'm going to the gym in like half an hour, so I'm about to take this off anyway. Okay, here is the look. It's like, a perfect everyday face. I could use these products every single day and I probably will because I'm gonna wanna buy makeup. So I'm gonna use these quick. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're excited to see how I do on this challenge. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new and uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.